White flag is raised as they come forward. Away they go over three miles in the Grade 1 Ladbrokes Champion Stairs Hurdle. 13 flights to jump at Somerville Boy and Asterian for Lange, who press ahead in the early stages, followed by What Do You Want and Monkfish as they arrive at their first flight. Landing together, Somerville Boy and the Grey Asterian for Lange, and now electing to move on in front is Somerville Boy and Rachel Blackmore. Building up an early lead of three lengths over Asterian for Lange and Patrick Mullins, followed by Stable Companion, What Do You Want, Sean O'Keefe. Another stable companion close up in fourth is Monkfish and Danny Mullins. On the inside is Tiapo. Now the mound of Darrow Keefe as they jump the second flight, the end of the back straight. Then meet and greet and Philip Enright. On the inside is Classical Dream, the winner for the last two years is the mound of Paul Townend. Alongside is Sard de Burley, Mark Walsh. And whipping them in is Ashdale Bob and Keith Donahue on board the runner up of 12 months ago. Turning to flights three and four along the side of the track. And the field is stacking up. It is Somerville Boy, followed by Asterian for launch. Monkfish has moved into third place. And then Tiapu disputing fourth with What You Want. And then Meet and Greet and Classical Dream. As they make tracks to flight number four on the approach to the straight. Somerville Boy, not so far in front of Asterian for launch. Monkfish didn't jump that flight great in third. And joined for that spot as a consequence by Tiapu, red cap of what you want in between those two, and then meet and greet and classical dream with the final couple, Ashdale, Bob and Sarah de Burley. Coming towards the end of their first mile and flight number five in the home straight in the Landbrook's Champion Stairs hurdle. Somerville Boy in the lead by two lengths to Asterian for Lange in the checks, and then Monkfish running the rail as Tiapu, and they're followed by what do you want and meet and greet. With the back three, Classical Dream, Ashdale, Bob, and Sard de Burley. Final flight next time, where Monkfish landed flat-footed in front of Somerville Boy. Maintains a couple of lengths lead over Asterian for long. Monkfish a narrow third from Tiapu, and then What Do You Want was followed by Meet and Greet, and then Classical Dream. At the rear of the field, Sard de Burley and Ashdale, Bob. Six to seven lengths from first to last, with the circuit in front of them. And eight flights left to jump as they go uphill to number six. The leader is Somerville Boy from Asterian for Long. Tiapu landed in a disputing third with Monkfish in between horses is what you want. And then meet and greet and classical dream Sar de Burley is one from last and Ashdale Bob held up. Going now to flight number seven, bringing them towards the halfway stage, Somerville Boy. From Asterian for Lounge, Monkfish next. Then What Do You Want and Tiapu and Meet and Greet and then Classical Dream. On the outside, Sard de Burley and his brilliant best at Aintree and Cheltenham. And Ashdale Bob continues at the rear of the nine runner field who make the descent to the next flight, which will bring them past their point of departure. Somerville Boy continues at the head of affairs. And second is Asterian for Lounge. Then Tiapu, Monkfish, the outside of What You Want, then Meet and Greet and Classical Dream and Sard de Burley and Ashdale Bob. At the end of a circuit, as they turn to head down the far side the final time, with five flights left to jump, and it's Somerville Boy continuing in front. In second place is Asterian for Lounge, who's chased from the outset, then Tiapu, Monkfish and What You Want, and then Meet and Greet. Edging closer is Sard de Burley and then Classical Dream and Ashdale Bob. Very few changes in the pattern as they approach the first of two flights down the far side, this five from the finish. Somerville Boy still chased by Asterian for Lounge. Monkfish just in third. Continuing to take closer order, Sard de Burley on the outside of What Do You Want? To their inside is Tiapo and then meet and greet Classical Dream and Ashdale Bob, although the back marker. Very much in touch, with four flights left to jump and just over three quarters of a mile to go. Somerville Boy, out over four out, from Asterian for Lounge, Tiapu, continues to share third with What Do You Want? And improving still is Sard de Burley, losing ground is Monkfish, on the rail is Classical Dream, and then Meet and Greet and Ashdale Bob. All in with some sort of chances, with five furlongs to go, and three flights to jump, Somerville Boy, by less than a length to Asterian for Lounge. Sarda Burley moves up on the outside to join 
Tiapu for the third, as they jump to third last flight, then classical dream. What do you want? Meet and greet Monkfish and Ashdale Bob remains the back marker. Heading for the second last, and Somerville Boy has relinquished the lead as Sard de Burley and Asterian for Lange who jump on together. Then Tiapu moving to the outside as Classical Dream and closing. They're followed by Ashdale Bob, meet and greet. And then What Do You Want, who's dropped away along with stable companion Monkfish into the straight to the final flight. And it is Sard de Burley getting the upper hand. One off the rail heads Asterian for Lange, continuing to close as Classical Dream. Dropping away the long-time leader, Somerville Boy, then Tiapo and Ashdale Bob. They come to the final flight, and three almost in a line. Sarda Burley, here's Classical Dream, who lands just in the lead on the rail as Asterian for launch. And it's Classical Dream driven on inside the final 150 yards. Classical Dream in the lead, Asterian for launch is rallying. Classical Dream has done it again. From Asterian for launch, Sarda Burley. Tiapu next with Ashdale Bob. Classical Dream could give directions to the Punchestown Festival. It's three Ladbrokes champion stairs for William Mullins' charge, written by Paul Downen. Well done. Seventh grade one. Third time he's won the Ladbrokes champion stairs. Yeah, okay. look, he's, he loves it around here. His record here is very good. <laughs> and um, he left the run in Shetland behind him. He's only ever been beaten once here. Yeah, I probably got beaten. <laughs> uh, no, he's... Yeah, it looked a bit nicer ground, and uh, he, well, he didn't make any secret of his prep for Shetland, wasn't ideal, and um, he benefited from being there. He was nice and relaxed in the prayer drink today, probably one of the best I've seen of him. Yeah, as he's getting on in years, he is. Got a bit hot going out to shoot, but um, no, he's growing up. David Porter does a huge job with him, even at home. You know, he'll wait for Willie now, which he's getting used to, and uh, he's, no, he's growing up. And a perfect passage throughout, really. Yeah, when you're on a pace, you want in a three-mile race, you can, the gaps usually come for you. His first grade one came back in 2019 over two miles here, in the two miles now. Yeah, exactly. He's, uh, yeah, he's lucky. He's, he's a smashing horse around the place and, and great fun for the owners. Great stuff. And looking at you turning into the stretch, you're always confident your body language, you're going to pick up the horse. Yeah, the boys were got a couple of links to me, but I, uh, I thought they were flat out and I was hoping I was going to pick up. I wasn't getting involved in a scrap. Uh, that far out when you see what he done in the last of the line. Gordon Seabank beats Yeah, he probably used to jump a bit better than Fairy House, but um, that experience, he's improving every run, so hopefully he can improve again. And it should be straightforward for that Fabio. Please, God, fingers crossed. Well done. Thanks. Ship team behind Classical Dream, Mark Smith alongside Joanne Coleman, in whose silks, red and yellow silks, Classical Dream has, uh, has run and, and won a third Labrooks Champion Stairs hurdle. Joanne, I know you want a little bit of time, so just to con con get yourself together so I'd ask you Mark just why this horse means so much to everybody well, I think everybody knows the story that John was my best mate and Joe, Joe's husband and he was the finest person you could ever meet I swear to God he was the finest finest friend a man could have and we were Cheltenham nuts for 30 or 40 years whatever it was and then he just started getting some decent horses together and he passed away and it just means so much. It just, I can't tell you, it's not just the winning. It's not, it's not that, it's just, I don't know, I can't put it into words. It just means so much to ask the boys at home. Three boys couldn't get out here today. And he's just took, he's taking us, he's taking us to Paris. He's taking us here. He, he, it's all down to John he, and, you know, and, he, uh, and, and Willie, of course. And, uh, you know, he's, he's brilliant. And, and Joe, everyone will remember the Supreme Novices Hurdle, and, and you had John John with you then. And yeah. Always with me. He, he's, he, you, you had his ashes with you then, and, and, he, and you still have them Every now. time the horse runs, yeah, for sure. And, yeah. And what was it about horse racing that he loved so much? What, what gave him so much pleasure out of the game? <laughs> oh, that's really hard to put into words, isn't like it? Just... Really, he loved the bet, he loved the sport. He loved the sport as much as anything. He was a big greyhound man, actually, as well. Yeah. He loved the sport, he loved the bet. Uh, he just loved everything about it. Like we, all, like we all do, you know. And he just found himself in a position last few years of his life to really get involved in the ownership side of it. He sort of fell in love with racing in Ireland, actually, more than in England. And. Um, you know, he's. I, sometimes I question what he was doing. I was bloody. What you done now? What you done now? And it, he's been proven right rather than what I have. So, and, and not only is this a wonderful part of the story, Joe, but it's the fact that he's been on the ropes a few times. This horse, and he's 
He's kept bouncing back. He's got this amazing indefatigability. Hasn't he? Hasn't he just? It's incredible. He astounds me every time he runs. He really does. We're going to go, Nick. Incredible. Sorry. Congratulations. Thank another, another wonderful chapter. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.